Hi, this is Jenny Bear of Perfect Practice, and I'm here with my awesome guest and teammate, Susan Carney of Living Well Dallas and Still Waters. And she's going to be one of the awesome facilitators with Betty and myself on February 25th. Here in uh, Dallas, we have the Vision Build It, Live It, Work It uh, retreat for providers of all types so that you, we can help you build your perfect practice the way that you want to work it. So one of the so why don't we start with Susan and mm -hmm. since you guys may not be familiar with Susan, um, let's have Susan tell us a little bit more about her background and mm -hmm. uh, what she's bringing to the table. Will do. All right. So my background is as a trauma recovery mm -hmm. specialist, and what that basically means is um, I have tools and methods where we can bypass the conscious mind, where um, certain fears and things can get stored, and we get into the unconscious subconscious, mm -hmm. which is where those fears originate. So I look forward to being a part of our day on February 25th and to teach you some techniques to get past some of the fears that you may have be having as a practitioner. Mm -hmm. And so here's why that's important. Um, we, when we have fears, we're actually accessing those fears from a very small childhood place. The brain is going to go back to the first original time that it solved a certain kind of problem. And it will continue to solve it in that way until we teach it something different. And so most of our fears that we experience as adults, we actually began and problem solved as children. So um, we're really just a bunch of tall children walking around trying to problem solve from our own two or three year old um, self. Right. So, Wouldn't it be great to be a tall adult? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Thinking it, differently. Yes. It feels better. It's mm -hmm. more effective. And when we are driven by fears, it's generally mm -hmm. from an unconscious, subconscious place. And we could talk about it for the next 25 years, but that keeps us, the talk keeps us in the conscious mind, and that is not where we can problem solve, and that's not where we can shift mm -hmm. how the unconscious, subconscious problem solves. So... Um, there's some super, super simple techniques that we will learn and we'll talk about on the 25th that will help you get to that unconscious subconscious place um, in order to address those fears and to begin to problem solve as tall adults as opposed to tall children. So let's, I think that's awesome. And so let's talk a little bit about some of the fears that providers actually face. So then mm -hmm. if they're sitting there going, I don't have fears. Right. Uh, or I have a lot of fears, and so now you're scaring me more. Right. Now I have to face them. <laughs> right. So let's talk about right. some of the fears that providers may have as they're trying to build their practice. And a lot of the practitioners we're working with may be coming from traditional medicine, moving into a hybrid model of traditional medicine and cash pay, or they're trying to move from traditional medicine into full-on cash pay. And um, so some of the fears that I hear on a regular basis when I'm coaching with providers is I'm afraid to have the conversation about the pricing of the labs or the pricing of the supplements mm -hmm. because now I feel like a salesperson. Whereas I'm, you know, I'm a doctor and I'm an NP or I'm a PA. I'm not supposed to be a salesperson right. too. Right. And that feels weird to me. So, so if I'm afraid, then I may not present all of the information. I present it too quickly. Um, I try to hurry up through that process, or I don't ask at all. So that's a big fear in terms of labs and supplements, and you know, feeling like they're a salesperson. The other thing that I hear all the time is, um, you know, if I'm converting my team with the traditional medicine, may not be the right team, team. members for now going cash pay. It was okay when they were having a copay conversation. Um, uh, yeah, let me get you scheduled, let me take your copay. And now they have to move into a very complex conversation about getting to the root of what the client needs on the phone before they ever walk in the door. And there's a lot more forms, there's a lot more conversation mm -hmm. um, that has to happen in when you're talking about an integrative functional medicine type practice. So there's fear of having the crucial conversations with their team members or their staff about you know, they're going to have to change their behavior. They're going to have to change their expectations of how they show up. They're going to have to maybe change their dress. They may have to change their attitude. And all of these things are hard to do. So a lot of providers fear the crucial conversation. Right, and, and, and stepping into to, their mm -hmm. own leadership in a way yep. that they probably didn't learn in medical school and they no. probably haven't had to access mm -mm. in a traditional medical practice. So we can definitely address those fears specifically. It's about feeling as though you're out of integrity 
and it's about bringing that back into alignment with really why mm -hmm. is why are those crucial conversations important and really what are you trying to do as a practitioner and how is it how can we enroll the unconscious subconscious and the conscious mind into mm -hmm. why you are being driven from a mission based mm -hmm. process into something new the thing with the human system is that Whenever we do something new, whenever we do something familiar, it's going to cause some alarm bells to go off. We're designed that way because we're... Panic are us. Right, right. We're just designed that way. Yeah. And so if you have an understanding of how to soothe that limbic response to um, settle it so that you can actually problem solve and you can actually move into mission, mm -hmm. um, the rest tends to flow. I'm also guessing that there's probably practitioners who have fears about money. Yes. Fears about, Thank I have you. all of this um, very mm -hmm. steady income coming in from an insurance-based model that where am I going to find people who have uh, expendable income to spend in cash pay? Mm -hmm. You know, how many do I need? Um, so I'm guessing that there's probably some yep, fears there's a about, lot that. about that. And so we can, we can address that very, very specifically. And um, you will walk away with a tool that you will be able to use for yourself um, even as things come up later along the way. So you will be armed with a way to reparent those inner children who are afraid mm -hmm. and teach them an adult set of skills and tools. And it'll just feel better. It'll be more fun and you will move through this transition with a level of grace and ease that you never thought imaginable. I love that. And uh, I mean, I want to come right I want to come to the retreat right now. Uh, this is so good, Susan. Um, the other fear that I think that we're going to address with the techniques mm -hmm. that you are talking about is the financial structure because when we talk about money, mm -hmm. you have to you have yep. to know what financial structure, what model you have in your business to set up and, and move forward with right. that, that yep. vision and mission. So okay. we're also gonna be addressing that. So you're gonna walk away with all of the great um, fear combating tools that Susan has lined up for you. Uh, Betty Murray is gonna go over the financial model so that you can sort of choose what is right and best for you. And then um, I'm going to work on um, helping you actually build what your vision is and getting very clear about it and really defining your profit centers um, in your business in that new vision for the rest of this year. And we have so much um, great experiential stuff and you're going to have great handouts that you can take home with you and then share with your team. We are super excited and also I want to say that Vibrant America, uh, Cesar Lopez, our local representative, is going to be there and he's going to tell you about some of the awesome testing that Vibrant does. And uh, so we just look forward to having you from mm -hmm. 9 to 4 on February 25th. If you have any questions or you want to register, uh, please call me at 972-246-8824 and you can always look at our website at www.functionalbusiness.com. Wait, whoops, functionalmedicinebusiness.com. Have a wonderful day. Look forward to seeing you soon. Looking forward to seeing you. Bye. Goodbye.